Hey, nerdlings. What up, nerdlings? Let's nerd out. I'm Walter Day, the father of esports, and you're watching the Do You Nerd? You know what bugs me? Time limits in video games. Why do we still have these? Why are they still a thing? I get it. There are some uses for them. Time trials in racing games? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. You know, timed events in like a sporting game. Maybe you're a super spy. You got to shut that missile off before it explodes in a certain amount of time. Okay, fine, fine. But there are too many games that still rely on time limits to create this arbitrary challenge. I feel like the person that made the game couldn't think of any other better way to make this one spot in the game more challenging. So, hey, why don't you uh, open these three doors in X amount of time? Or why don't you run from this side to this side of the game map in X amount of time? Why are these still a thing? Why are you running? Why are you running? The most recent thing that really got me thinking about this was when I was playing Mafia 2. Now, I had a great time playing the game, got the definitive edition, and I started to play the DLC. As opposed to story missions, there's all of these little arcade attack challenges. Nothing against that, but every single one is timed, and I don't understand why. You want me to steal this car, you want me to get it from point A to point B, and you don't want me to tear it up. Doing all of that is more than enough challenge. There's yeah. so many other cars on the road, you gotta watch out for the police. Maybe you could have some enemies who don't like you on their turf come out and shoot at you or something, and you gotta, you know, like pick your route carefully. Don't give me a time limit. Tick tock, tick tock. Sorry, your time's up. <laughs> there is a little bit of validation in knowing that I'm not the only one that feels this way. Even Captain Algebra doesn't like time limits. And the man is a beast when it comes to video games. No, Tom, I completely agree with time and games. I cannot stand it. Hey, don't make me rush through a game. Let me take my time. So, uh, like, I love the Crash Bandicoot games, and I, I got all the trophies for Insane Trilogy, the first game, but I refused to do the time trials. I refused. Same thing when I went back and played Warped, the original game PS1. That is the only original Crash Bandicoot game on PS1 that I did not 100%, because I hate time. I hate time trials. I refuse to do it. Just take out of games. Can't stand them. That's kind of why I don't play those games. Because it's frustrating enough for me watching you, let alone you being the one. I, I can imagine it's got to be ten times worse because you're the one doing it. When I play a video game, and I've said it before, I'm playing a video game to relax and enjoy and forget about the stress of my day. And I don't need the video game to make the stress even higher. Speaking of time limits, our food's almost here, so... Now we have to hurry up and wrap up this video because there's a time limit on it. So, nerdlings, please leave some comments down below. How do you feel about time limits? Arbitrary things of the past or legitimately challenging portions to video games? Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. Like, comment, subscribe, and notification bell. You know the rest. Yep, like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Buy our stuff on TeePublic. Buy Retro Refresh your stuff on TeePublic. See us on the Retro Refresh. And remember, if we like it... We nerd it, just not for time limits. Exactly. Gotta go. Bye. Well, I guess just roll with it. I will roll with it. Rolling with it. Ready? Yes, sir. Because... I don't know why. <laughs> you might cut that one, Tom. I don't know where she was going with that either. <laughs> Our food is coming. Ain't nobody get time for this